everyone i am back it feels very strange to be talking to a camera but i hope you guys are all doing well i have been keeping safe since i spoke to you guys last which was a good couple of weeks ago excuse me there is someone sitting in their car beside me and there is someone about to park in the car park beside me there's a lot happening it is prime time at the gym this morning i haven't vlogged in a couple of weeks um I didn't plan on it being that long, but it kind of just worked out that way. It has been so necessary, I think. Um, I don't even remember the last time I took a proper break. It was definitely overdue, and I think it was a big reminder for me to take more breaks and slow down. I don't quite have the time to edit this video now, so it may be edited in a couple of weeks. Yeah, so I don't 100% know when you're going to be watching this because I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. But I think a little mini catch up is overdue while I wait for my spin class. Whilst I've been kind of away, um, a few things have been happening. A lot has kind of changed, perspective has changed. But basically the past couple of weeks, I don't actually remember when I started it, um, I've been on a little mission challenge thing to de-stress my body. I have had really high cortisol levels for around nine months. I want to say for a very long period of time, like just abnormally high. So I have kind of made it my mission to de-stress my body. Um, I've been reading a lot of books and yeah, seeking help and professionals and stuff. I slowly help me bring my body back down because it was just holding so much fluid always stressed and that's honestly just how I felt I felt like I was always stressed even when I felt like there was no real reason to be stressed so yeah I've been looking after my gut a lot more I have been on a little challenge thing that Pav's actually been doing with me and just reducing my dairy my gluten having no sugar and no alcohol the sugar I've been a little bit leaning on on because in the past couple of weeks we've had a few birthdays so um, I've kind of been doing like a 80 20 rule um, but a little bit stricter on it just for the next couple of weeks while I reset my body a little bit and let my stomach calm down and I've reduced my caffeine intake so I was having like two to three shots of coffee a day yeah always knew that that had some sort of impact on my anxiety so I'm capping it at no more than 100 milligrams per day I think I'm having around 85 so one shot of coffee I believe that's right anyway one shot of coffee so it's a pretty weak coffee and slowly trying to like wean myself off the caffeine and can I just say reducing my caffeine intake even just over the past couple of weeks I've noticed such a difference in my energy in the afternoon I didn't even realize I was crashing because of the caffeine I was so shocked I used to get to like one o'clock two o'clock um and I just feel so crappy and just like fatigued um like I could honestly go to bed and say goodnight <laughs> and I haven't been feeling like that when I've reduced my coffee like I've been doing that for a couple of weeks and also when I don't have sugar yeah it's really nice to not have that afternoon crash i obviously still feel tired but like not in the same capacity that's been really good and really helpful i think to me feeling better and getting better there's literally people staring at me right now and i'm just soldiering on because i have a lot of things to say but yeah other than that i've still been seeing my psychologist i'm going like every fortnight at the moment um and that has been such a big help for me it almost feels like you've just got a support person like I don't know you don't feel alone and you've got someone kind of giving you some guidance I guess which is really reassuring um and I've been really enjoying those sessions yeah we've been working on a whole bunch of stuff there's a, like a complex range of things that I have been doing um and we've been working out where a lot of my stress and triggers lie which is uni which is interesting um but obviously makes sense because from the start of my masters has just been absolute chaos and I feel like my brain has just been so much heavier since starting that so yeah we've been working on that and working on my values my morals who the kind of person that I want to be because a lot of the time I'm not really backing myself as a person if that makes sense like deep down there's all these underlying stories and issues that I'm bringing up now but they've kind of you know made me second guess who I am and I guess in a way I haven't felt normal like this is what we were talking about um, in my last session that I kind of place myself in the like you're not normal box because a lot of the people who are in my life who have been in my life have 
very different lifestyle what's even the word ways they wish to spend their life i guess um and a lot of the things that other 23 year olds want to do are not things that i want to do and i've really really second guessed myself with that so like for example um i don't like drinking i don't like going out i'm not a big like you know clubbing kind of person i never really have been i had my my stage when i was 18 it was very short-lived and I just absolutely don't like it in any capacity now like I can go out for one beer at a pub I don't enjoy being surrounded by drunk people I don't <laughs> enjoy the party scene or I don't know I've just really changed in that regard whereas a lot of 23 year olds and a lot of people I have been around that is what they want to do that's how they want to spend their weekends which is totally fine I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that at all but just saying in my life that's not something that I choose to do so I've put myself in the you're not normal basket and have put all this pressure on myself to I guess conform to other things um so anyway we've been working on that whole bunch of things which I'm sure I will address as we go on kind of thing because yeah my psychologist sessions have been really helpful so yeah working on my eating working on my mindset um uni I had like a little lull in uni where it was just kind of classes but now we're ramping up into assessment block I've got four assessment pieces and one of them's an exam and the other three are assignments and the assignments are ginormous they're like 3,000 word plus reports and the exam is pretty big too I'm a little bit nervous for that not gonna lie I still have my days where I have a mini meltdown or my mental health definitely isn't where I want it to be I feel like we're always working on that but I have a bit of a journey to go and yeah I think I needed this break from social media just to kind of reevaluate where my priorities are I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to do so many things and commit to so many things I'm just running myself down week after week so that's something I'm trying to get better at and work on yeah just in regards to like social media and YouTube I'm taking away that massive pressure on myself like weekly vlogging I didn't even realize at the time but like weekly vlogging was such a mission um and such a big like task to do spending hours and hours editing the video every week you know having to vlog stuff every week it just got a little bit much so i'm sure i'll do weekly vlogs here and there but yeah definitely not every week and yeah just do like little daily vlogs here and there a little smaller vlogs when i feel like it I feel like i have something to share so yeah just not filming like every single week like even though you only get a small snippet of my life in a weekly vlog it's still a big commitment so yeah i hope you guys can understand that and yeah i just kind of want to take away that pressure on myself and maybe become a little bit more private and i mean that in the best way possible when you are trying to work on yourself and you are online obviously everything you say everything you do everything you post is being like criticized and I think I've realized I need to take a little bit of a step back and not be so trying to share as much as possible on here which I think is really valid I'm still going to be sharing heaps and you know nothing about me is changing it's just kind of yeah the commitment to picking up the camera every day and posting on Instagram every day like it's just too much for me right now and yeah I have other commitments like uni which takes up a lot of my time but then also areas I've been lacking in like my relationship with my partner my social relationships and family and even just the relationship with myself I have a lot a lot of work to do on myself and I also have a new job but I've been talking so long so yeah that's there's a lot going on but wowie it is crazy to be talking to you again just a little snippet of what's been happening I guess I didn't want to just like start filming and like you know not address a bit of the elephant in the room it is Wednesday I am just going to bring you along for my day because it's not the most interesting day it is a very stock standard uni filled day I as I said have a lot of assessment going on so my days are pretty much just like let's get going let's get going and I thought I'd bring you guys along for a little bit of that today and just kind of catch up and touch base but i'm gonna go into my spin class now wish me luck i really don't feel like it this morning because it just feels like a lot of effort but you always feel good after it so we'll see what happens anyway let's go train and then get into some uni work also i think the puffer jacket's a bit of an overkill today it's like not that cold it's 15 degrees but i don't know i feel like the puffer jacket just maybe is a bit much <laughs> I am 
a very sweaty tomato but that was so good i really struggled through that session really badly like by track three or four my legs are already hurting you always feel so proud of yourself like after you've done it and you like show yourself like oh i can do it I'm gonna go home and get properly stuck into the work day I've just washed my hair. I've been doing uni for a couple of hours and I just decided to make some lunch. And I thought I'd show you guys what I've been making for lunch the past two weeks, maybe. I'm trying to eat a lot more whole foods. Just being a bit more intentional about the kinds of foods that I'm consuming. Um, so like all of my vegetables and the stuff, if they're not organic, I wash them. I'm trying to eat less processed foods, but this is what I've got. Looks a little bit gross. I have a wrap, which I wouldn't recommend because they like all split in the bag. I have a bit of avo, some hummus, some greens. I normally just use spinach, um, fermented cabbage. I'm loving fermented cabbage at the moment. And then I roast some vegetables and I have them just ready to go in the fridge and I put them in the air fryer. And then like a falafel or a veggie ball or something. So this is my lunch today. You would have also seen me take uh, my hormone supplements. I've only been doing this for a short while, so I can't really comment on it, but um, I'm excited about it. I've heard a lot of really good things and I read a lot of reviews before I bought this. Um, I bought this with my own money, by the way. This isn't sponsored. I've had wacky hormone problems for years and years and years and have been seeing professionals about it. But this is a product that I've kind of just had in the back of my head that I wanted to just give a go. I had a sample of this, I'm pretty sure, in a goodness me box once. But I didn't really know too much about it. Whereas, yeah, I've read the reviews and I'm really excited to see how this goes um, to just kind of reset my hormones it's called fem 21 and it's just yeah a hormone balancing liver and digestive cleansing alkalizing drink and it's made by a naturopath she's actually from brisbane um and it's got so much good stuff in it there's like a whole bunch of really cool things in here that do a whole bunch of cool things yeah so it's gluten-free dairy-free soy-free sugar-free vegan and no fillers and yeah there's just a whole bunch of good stuff in here to help you balance out your hormones um and as i said helps with your digestion and your liver function and yeah just a whole bunch of things i want to work on i'm just gonna see how it goes it honestly like doesn't taste as bad as i made it out to be i mean like the texture is not pleasant but I've had worse but that's just something that I have started doing I'm excited to see how that goes but I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and then I've got one class to do a bit of study this afternoon and then I've got some assignment work to do and that's the rest of my work day hello guys I have actually finished my uni work day now which is so good my brain was so fatigued by the end of it like my words weren't even making sense but i was like writing up my assignments so that is my sign that my brain has shut down for the day um i did start really early this morning i got up at like 5 30 and went straight into my office and started doing uni work so i feel like i've had a really productive uni day which is nice i've just put away a bit of washing i've um, done a few little housey things and i've just packed a bag so that i can go to pav's tonight i'm gonna have dinner at his stay at his tonight and then wake up first thing in the morning and go to gym also how much better is this light in here i got new like ceiling lights and like the room it is just lit up so much better because of the new bulbs that they put in anyway but yeah i am gonna end off the vlog here so i don't have to take my camera to pavs and to be honest i probably won't vlog there anyway i haven't seen his family in a bit over a week and a half so yeah i want to see them and just have some quality time at pavs house so but before i go I just picked out a new book to read because I finished my book last night. Yes, last night. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this book when I got it and like while I was reading it. But this is the book. I talked about it on my Instagram. It's called How to Be Well. It's a handbook for women. This is what it looks like. But yeah, it is quite a big book. It's not like a crazy read. It's like an instructional kind of book and goes through a whole bunch of really important topics which I found really helpful and has kind of impacted a bit of my like healing 
journey, which has been really nice. But they go through topics like hormones, eating, toxins, exercise. Another thing I've been doing is changing up my exercise routine, put a little bit less stress on my body. Um, found that really interesting, like reading about the correlation between exercise and stress and the effects it has on your body. I think this book is such a good read and a good book for like every woman to have. It just goes through a bunch of interesting topics and I feel like I've learned a lot after reading it, like general knowledge about stuff that I didn't know a lot about. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the book and I would recommend it if you've been thinking of getting it or you've seen it. I know that Big W has it now if you're in Australia, um, but I bought mine off Booktopia if you can't find it in stores. It's even just a pretty book to like have showcased. Like I'm going to leave it on my bedside, I think, and definitely will refer back to it. But yeah, some really helpful stuff in here that has impacted how I've started to feel a little bit better, which has been nice. But my new book is this one. I bought it a little while ago, but I haven't been able to delve into it. Um, so I'm interested to see how this goes. I was going to read another book. I feel like I need to like have a break from reading like instructional books or like books that are telling you what to do I guess so we'll see how this goes it's 10 times happier by Owen O'Kane I'll let you know how this goes but anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being patient and kind with me um as I said I don't know when this will go up because I'm trying to not put so much pressure on myself and just enjoy the social world and enjoy content creation and when it comes it comes so I hope you guys understand I hope you guys are all doing well and I'm sending love to each and every one of you have an awesome day or night and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys